Okay, today we're reviewing the splicing procedure for the S178 and the S123 Vital Fusion Splicers. Stephen will walk us through the procedure for fiber preparation and splicing. The first step in the procedure is to make sure that the heat shrink is applied to the fiber before we start doing the work on it. The second step will be to strip the fiber. We'll be stripping the fiber approximately an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter long. And you'll notice what Stephen is doing. He's angling the blade such that the fiber remains in a straight line. It's very important to do that so that the fiber is not micro-stressed. Stephen is now going to take and he's going to clean the fiber. And he's going to clean it once, twice, maybe three times until he hears a squeaking sound. Now Stephen is going to take the fiber and lay it in the cleaver. The cleaver that we're using has the three channels. Uh, the first channel being a 5 to 20 millimeter channel. The middle channel is for 125, 250 micron fiber and it has a cut length of 16 millimeters. And the third channel is a 900 micron or uh, pigtail splicing channel. So Stephen will lay it in the channel at the 10 millimeter mark and he's going to close the clamp on it and we want to make sure that the fiber extends beyond the far pinch rollers and sits across the pads nice and even so we're visually looking at it to make sure that it's, it's straight. When we close, we'll close the, the cleaver and Stephen uses two thumbs. One thumb will be pushing down on the drive and the second thumb will lift up on the, on the lid. We want to make sure that we don't do that twice. You only want to do that once. We want to make sure now that we get the fiber in the splicer with minimum uh, damage to the end of the fiber or no damage to the end of the fiber. So Stephen will put it in uh, the clamp and he'll extend it beyond the electrode and pull it back such that the fiber is still exposed beyond the electrode and uh, in beyond the electrode and the blue V groove. And Stephen closes the clamp on it. We'll close the lid. The splicing will now take place. There's a pre-arc cleaning. Now the splicing takes place. And we have a 0 0.02 B, 2 dB splice loss. Now Stephen, when we open the lid, a tension test will take place. And you can hear the motor drives to tension it. Now Stephen will take the, the fiber out of the clamps and he'll try to keep the fiber in a straight line and make sure that he doesn't bend it at this point. Put the heat shrink over the fiber, hold the fiber straight and place it into the heater oven. Now it will shrink the heat shrink. And now we have completed the splice.